Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm in After Effects CC 2018. I apologize, I haven't had a couple vid uh, video up in a couple days. I've been off with the flu. It's been rough, but guys, this one I'm going to show you how to animate lines, basically to make them move and move sort of on their own. So they're kind of like animated, zigzaggy, you know, doing their own thing. Think about like a heart monitor or like an EKG type thing. And of course, you can, you know create compositions that are, you know, an hour long. So if you want this to be some sort of perpetual motion animation, we could do it. All right, let's get right into this new composition if you're following along, nice and simple. And I'm just going to click a background color. doesn't matter what size your composition is because this is just for demonstration purposes. And hit OK. So I've got this cool little green background, and off we go. Now, the next step is you want to click on this pen tool. We'll do it with the pen tool. You can do it with other tools, don't get me wrong. And I'm just going to make a point, say, here, and then I'm going to hold shift down and a point there. Now, yeah, you're like, wow, that's a line. Really good job, Curtis. No, there's a lot more to it, guys. The next step, and I really wish I knew this when I started out, is you can go to drop down shape layer one, go to the add button, and now it's going to seem obvious, but you want to try the wiggle paths. Let's see what this does. Now, we're going to go ahead and you'll see that it's created a wiggle path under contents and under shape one. If we drop that down, we see that it's got some default styles. It's got a default size of 10, detail of 10, and wiggles per second of 2, etc, etc. Now, if I click off just to show you, I'm going to click over to the move tool, or I guess that's a selection tool. And <laughs> After Effects is sort of like the move tool in Photoshop. And I hit, play, I hit the space bar, or zero if you're on a, a PC kind of keyboard, to play it. And you're going to see the subtlest of motion. And if I zoom in a little more, yeah, you'll see it's moving, but it's very, very subtle. And if your composition or your project requires subtle motion, there it is, guys. Just like and subscribe or whatever. But if you want to see how to make it a little bit more, I don't know, animated, follow along. Under Wiggle Paths, you've got a few options. We're going to adjust size first. This is a big one. And as I increase the size you're going to see, well, obviously the size increases. Now, this probably isn't the effect you're going for, but I'll play it anyway just to show you. And, yeah, you got some sort of weird action going on there, but, again, not really what we're going for in all probability. Uh, the next one is detail. This is something that is you probably want to increase. So if you're doing, like, an EKG or a lie detector test or a heart monitor or something like that, and you're trying to animate something like that, it's playing that. Okay, you got some more here to work with. We're on our way, right? Hit escape to back out of that. Now, wiggles per second is the other one that X is very, very important. And I'll increase this, well, let's increase it from 2 all the way up to, say, 10. Now, this is going to wiggle like crazy. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, boom. We've got some mad wiggling action going on. You see what's going on? Yeah, guys, it's a bit nuts. But there you go, guys. This is how you go ahead and animate lines inside of Adobe after Effects. Also, I'll show you the corner versus smooth. You can have a smooth version, and you'll see that the corners here at the edges have smoothed out, just so you can see the difference, in case you knew. So if you want jagged edges like you'd find on an EKG or a lie detector test, or maybe smooth if you'd find on, well, hell, I don't even know what the hell you'd find smooth on, but there's got to be something out there for it. Um, also, guys, you can reduce things like correlation and increase it, so like everything's, the previous wave is how correlated it is to the one before it, etc., etc. Uh, I'm going to actually chop it down to like 30%. And let's just hit play and see what this looks like. I'll click off. And yeah, we've got some more animated action, guys. Remember, you can always make adjustments. For example, the size. Now that you've seen what could happen, this is probably the one that you want to keep smaller. Just because it looks a little funny when you're when the size is too much. Yeah, because you want it to all sort of look kind of blended together. And let's increase the detail. There we go. Wiggles per second. And then, bang, we've got another look. Let's hit play. There you go. We've got another animated line, guys. That's all there is to it. Play around with it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will be back with some more stuff shortly. Thanks for watching. Cheers.